Set up the investment calculator. You have opened up Sheets, log into your Google account, go to Sheets, create a brand new spreadsheet. I'm gonna give it a title that's gonna go across four fields, merging that cells together. So do a merge all, and then going into the quick menu, we'll horizontally align those so we can center those. I'll make the font slightly bigger so that we can easier see the heading. So there are some values that we need to track into our investment calculator. So whatever the current value is of our investment, we also need to track back the rate of return that we want to have or that we can get for our investment, the number of payments, and then what we want for the payment amount. So this is the amount that we're gonna be paying in each time. And this is where we're gonna calculate the future value of our investment after we've completed all of the payments on that fixed rate with the amount of payments that we're estimating. So let's start out with our current value. So that will subtract out 10,000 from our current account to invest that amount into it. The rate of return that we're looking at or that we're hoping to get is uh, one point or 0.45% rate of return. The payment amount, so the number of payments that we want to make, let's do 24 payments into this. So they can be monthly payments over two years or whatever number of payments that you want to make into this within the given period of time. And this is gonna be where we're gonna have the resulting value that's calculated back out. So for the amount that we want to pay, we're gonna pay into it an amount of $500. So each payment period is gonna result in $500 being subtracted, and that's gonna result in a total payment as we're doing 24 payments of about $12,000. So let's calculate out what our future value will be once we've got the rate of return calculated in. And for this, we can use a built-in function and the function that we're going to be using is going to be a financial function. And it's a financial function called FV. So this is the future value of an annuity investment. You can always find out more about the functions in Google Sheets by pressing the question mark. And that will give you an example of what is being expected. So the rate is going to be the first parameter in the argument. So that's the interest rate. Then the number of payments to be made. So we've got that as 24. The amount of the payment to be paid. So we've got that at $500. If we do have a starting value, so that can be the current value. And then the last one is gonna be optional. That's ending or beginning. So let's close that off and we're gonna fill out first the rate that we have. So you can select the cell with the rate. Make sure that you're within the FV formula. You can close that off and select the rate first. And then next is the number of payments. So we're doing 24 payments. So I'm going to select that as the next argument. The payment amount. So that's what we've got in column D is going to be the payment amount. And then the last value that we want is whatever the current value is. So let's calculate that out. And then as a result, our future value after we've made the 24 payments plus the current rate is gonna be 23,779.76. We can have some other numbers. Uh, so you can just copy, drag it down. That will copy the formula over. So if we're making a payment of $200, then this is what the resulting end result is gonna be after 24 payments we can adjust it to 12 payments of $500. So that's gonna be our resulting amount after the period. If our interest rate, if we can score a better interest rate, so the rate return, so if we can get a 1.85 rate of return, that will be our value. If we start out with a value of 1,000, after the 24 month, 24 period payment periods, we're going to be at 13,775. And you can adjust these numbers as needed 
in order to suit and to make the calculations for your investment over time with a given number of payments and periods and the rate of return, adjusting the numbers as needed.